Hello, I'm Juni from MSK Marai. The Laprade system has faced criticism for not accounting for the status of the meniscofemoral ligaments in the classification of lateral meniscus posterior root tears. These ligaments are crucial in maintaining hoop stresses across the lateral meniscus and stabilizing its position. However, when the meniscofemoral ligament is torn, lateral meniscus posterior root tears can result in meniscus extrusion. This extrusion increases tibiofemoral contact pressures and accelerates the progression of osteoarthritis. According to radiographics in 2023, patterns of lateral meniscus posterior horn and posterior root tears were classified into four categories considering the meniscofemoral ligament. Today, let's focus on one of these categories, the Risberg rib tear. The Risberg rib tear is a subset of longitudinal tears of the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus, originating at the junction of the posterior horn and the meniscofemoral ligament. Therefore, on a sagittal image, the vertical high signal intensity resulting from a peripheral longitudinal tear continues continuously from the junction of the posterior horn and the meniscofemoral ligament to the point where the fibular head is visible. If we measure axial imaging, the lateral extension of the cleft signal between the meniscus and meniscofemoral ligament should measure 1.4 cm or more lateral to the lateral margin of the PCL. However, it's important to note that the high signal band frequently seen between the meniscofemoral ligaments and the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus, termed Risberg pseudotear, can sometimes mimic the appearance of a Risberg rib tear. Pseudotears typically have an anterosuperior to posteroinferior orientation, which may lead to confusion, especially if they appear to have a vertical angle, 90 degrees. To differentiate, a peripheral longitudinal tear of the lateral meniscus is more likely if the attachment of the meniscofemoral ligament extends 14 mm or more lateral to the posterior cruciate ligament. Additionally, if a longitudinal tear or cleft of the lateral meniscus's posterior horn extends to the fibular head's level, it is likely a Risberg rib tear. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button.